Hi, it's Matt here from Crooks Cabinet Makers. So I've just had opportunity to sort of clean out the workshop and sort out my tools. So what we've got here is the, uh, the key the router. Just want to get a, bit, a little bit of a clean up. And clean some of this field up around here, here, and underneath there, and in there, and in the collet. If you look around here, you can see you've got a lot of build up of dirty, fine dust. I want to get rid of that. There are better cleaning agents out there, but I haven't got one at the moment, so I'm just going to use a little bit of WD 40. So while that's soaking in, what I'm going to do is remove this chuck and show you how to clean this chuck and why you should clean it. I've had this before where the, the router cutter was jammed in there and the only way to take it off was to totally unscrew it and hit through here with a hammer. So what I'll do is highlight where that problem comes from. I'll just give the outside a wipe off and get a flathead screwdriver and just poke that internal collet through. My one's in pretty good condition so it comes out straight away. In here, becomes clogged with sawdust, very fine sawdust and it becomes compacted and very hard to remove. So the best thing to do is take this completely out. That's an easy clean, just a wipe with a cloth and a little bit of WD-40. Just take the WD-40 and spray it inside there. Then get your cloth. And wipe out the excess dirt. So that, that should remove 90% of the excess dirt. But if I look in there, there's still a little bit of dust. And I put my screwdriver in there. All this dust is quite hard built up in there. Still pulling some out. So I don't do this very often. I don't need to do it that often. Once a year, something like that. Now if I look in there now, that's very, very clean. So just go over this and have another little clean. I've got a choice of lubricants. One's the, the dry lubricant, and the other one's a grease. I'm not using my router over the Christmas period. I'm gonna go with the grease. And that's in there, that fits in there, that should be nice and loose like that. When that tightens up, that should tighten nicely around the router cutter. Give me a little wipe off. And we'll just put that to one side for a minute. The chip guard that comes with the router. It's important to get that, give that a clean up. And it's always handy to have a nice clear view. The extraction hose cover. Okay. <clears throat> Not perfectly clear, but it's improved. It's really easy to just get rid of that. Get rid of that break up. give that a white brown. Get rid of the build up on there as well. That needs to come out. So it's resinous timber dust from pine, cutting pine and that sort of thing. So give that a little clean. Okay, so I'm happy with that part as clean. All right, so I've got the bulk of it off and that's good enough really. Got a little bit of PU glue spilt onto the casing. That's not gonna harm it, but let's get rid of it anyway. Doesn't cost anything. So I'll put some grease on these plunge rails. And on the thread. So work that in a little. And you can see See the top side there's still got a bit of rubbish 
on it. A bit of let's clear that off. Don't need that. Right. So now need to put the put the collet back in. I've greased it all up so it's easy to fit. And that's it. My router's ready. So that was the solution I found for the router collet. So thanks for watching. Stay safe in the workshop. Have a nice day.